Now the box is finished, we need to have a look at the assembly features. So if we go to the assembly tab along the bottom, Part Studio is where you're creating all of your parts assemblies, where you can put them together and assemble them in such a way that allows them to move, and you can see if things are intersecting, if your design is actually going to be, going to be working, or if you need to make any changes and developments. It's a really good way to develop your idea, especially for an NEA or anything like that. At the top here you've got loads of options, most of them are to do with putting things together, assembling them and you've got one at the end here for inserting the parts and you'll see your parts that you created in your part studio are all appearing separately. So we're going to start with part one which is the base to our design and you'll see it appears, you can drop it anywhere by just clicking on the screen and once you've done that we're going to right click on that part and fix it so that that is what we're going to build everything else from so that's not going to move. The next part is going to be part two so that is our lid and we're just going to drop it somewhere so it's not lined up so we can see it moving as we start to constrain it. So we're going to click the tick and say that we're finished for the moment. We'll insert the pins just after we've finished aligning this. And this is where you need to think really carefully. So you need to think what is going to line up. Okay? So actually we want a revolute mate between two holes. So that means the two holes will line up, but it will allow them to pivot and spin. So we're going to go revolute mate, and then we want this part of the hole. And if we zoom in, you can see that the selector has got us right on the outside face, which is exactly where we want to be. Be careful that you don't accidentally select. You can see the others appearing now, the middle or the left hand side of that hole. We want the outside. So we're on the outside and then we're going to have to zoom out, rotate it round and we want that to line up with this part of the hole. And again, you've got the three different elements. Think carefully about which needs to line up. I know we need the inside there. So we've got our Revolute Mate now connected and they're joined together. So if we click tick that is now finished and we don't need to put any more in at the moment it's just that one. And you should be able to see that that box now opens and closes and we just put our pins in to decorate that and make it look more finished and we're going to do that with a fixed mate so we'll fix the pins to the outside not to the inside so it will still revolve and it will look like it's revolving around the pins. So we go back to insert at the top, we click on part 3 and drop it in, we click on part 4, drop that in 2 and then we're done in what we want to insert. We're going to go for a fastened mate this time so they're not going to move and then again we need to think about this very carefully. So we're going to do this right hand one first, I'm selecting that inside face so you can see that which one it's creating there or selecting there should I say click on that, zoom out, rotate round to this outside circle and we want the outside of that one to fasten it to and you'll see it pops it straight into the perfect place and that will stay exactly there because we've used a fastened mate. The next one is the same on the other side so we want to make sure that we get the correct face so that's on the left, we don't want that, we want the one on the right on the inside so we'll click and finish that, rotate round to this hole and then we want the outside one of that as well and it's fastened in. We'll finish our fastening, rotate it around so you've got a nice view of it and we are pretty much done with our first ever assembly which is really cool. So let's animate that now and just move it around and you can see actually we've got some intersections going on so it's not working perfectly. So actually if I look from the right and I'm going to change it so it's hidden edges visible you can see that the lid is intersecting with the base so it wouldn't actually open so once it's there it should that's fine it works but to open it it's intersecting and that's not right that's not what we want so we're actually going to round off that back corner or the two back corners if you want so that that will open it's going to change the look so you might have to change the design of the hinge to improve it but that's all part of why we're doing this and we want to develop it as well as we can so let's turn on shaded so it's back to where we were and then we're going to go into the part studio and round those back edges. So it's part one that we want. Let's hide everything else for a second. We're going to round this back edge. So using the fillet tool, we'll add a nice big round onto there, maybe 35 millimeters. Let's try that. As long as it doesn't cut into the hole, we're fine. It's very, very close. So let's just down it to 30 and click tick. 
You can do the same with a lid if you want and it'll open a little bit further but let's go and see how this one gets on in assembly. You'll notice that it automatically updates the assembly when you change the parts and when we open this now, let's go back to the view that we saw it so well in before, shaded with hidden edges. Zoom out and when we open this now you can see it's not intersecting until we get to that point so it's opening way further so that's much better. The last bit about assemblies that I, th I think is really useful is adding some limits onto the way things open. So that that part here, this Revolute Mate, we want to add some limits onto. So if we edit the Revolute, there's a limits tick box here that we can tick. And then we can put in the minimum and the maximum. Minimum, we're going to do zero. So that's the position it's in there. And then the maximum is, I'm going to guess at the moment, at 45 degrees. If we look at it from the right and zoom out, we might be able to see how that one actually looks at 45. Does it make it all the way around? Yep, 45 is absolutely fine. That's not intersecting. Perfect. So we can finish that. And now what you'll notice when we're trying to move the lid, it won't go past them. So it won't shut too far. It looks more realistic and it won't open past its limit. So that is the limit that that hinge will open on this box. Hopefully you're able to complete your first assembly, make a development and see how the limits work on yours as well. Good luck.